Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 23. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the Polyphony Digital Cup. And for this, we need to take a car that has no form of tuning upgrades whatsoever. And I think our maximum performance rating needs to be uh, 500. Uh, let's go double check. So yeah, our current car is invalid because it is uh, needs to be 500 or less. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the car settings. Uh, so we've already got sports hards on. That is fine. Um, and we want to make sure that we have a power limiter of 95%. And that is now allowed. Awesome. And so first of all, we're going to the Sakuba circuit for five laps. Then the twin ring at Motegi for three and then Trial Mountain for four laps. Let's go to Sakuba first. Little dinky track to start off with. Polyphony Digital Cup. I do like the Sakuba circuit. It's a very nice small track to work with. And we are looking at a DB9, uh, two Lancer Evos, one in Evo 5 and one in Evo 6, an S2000. Uh, I do like Hondas. Um, what we are going to do is make sure our traction control is lowered down to 2. Because this is quite a powerful car. And we're going to get straight into the race. Right, let's do this. Stock Mercedes AMG. We obviously had to repaint it in silver. Because every single Mercedes should be in silver. Mandatory. It is mandatory to be in a silver Mercedes. Here we go. Coming up on the Integra Type Ah, oh, by the looks of it. We've got a... Uh, no, that's a Toyota GT86. I was going to say Subaru BRZ, but... Wow, well, they're pretty much the same car anyways. Same as a ski on FRZ, I think it's called. Or something Z. Awesome. This is actually going to be a little bit of a challenge, because this car isn't great at low end acceleration that much so it's going to push our car a little bit and our driving skills to try and get up into the high ranks awesome obviously all of these cars should be stock if anyone is else in this is driving an upgraded car you're a cheating bastard Right, and pull out. That's what she said. Here we go. Coming up on the other, the Evo 6, I think this one is. It looks very Evo 6-like. I'm still sad that they don't make any Mitsubishi Evos anymore. Like, I think Mitsubishi is making a huge loss here. Like, they... Could quite easily make a Evo 11. Quite easily. And I don't understand why they're not. I'll obviously do some research after this. Because that kind of thing interests me. Finding out why certain car companies just go bust. But the weird thing is Mitsubishi still exists. So it's like... Why? Why can't we have an Evo 11? We've had the Evo 10 for like 15 years now. Perfect. Are they still producing Evo 10s? Hmm. I wonder that as well. Can you, like, go onto the Mitsubishi website and buy yourself an Evo 10 still? 
Right, we have just overtaken the DB9, which is the one car I was worried about, so... Shouldn't have too many problems for the rest of this race. Oh! Lots of grip through that section there. Come on, come on. I think that other car's supercharged as well. Perfect. Relying on that late break in there. It's not recommended to do it on every single corner. But late braking is fun. Awesome. Oh, a little bit wide. Perfect. Awesome. Right, we're coming up to sweeping corner for the second to last time. There we go, nice. Final lap. Final lap. The amount that that car goes down in revs whenever you change gear from second to third is ridiculous. Like you hear it just go. There you go. See. Just, just listen to this. Right, we're gonna go first for this corner. And then it's just like gone. Third. Yes! Final lap was our fastest. 104.9. Awesome. Five minutes 32. We're about three seconds ahead of the car behind. Which is always good when you're in the lead. I love it when you're in the lead. Because it's like, yeah, I'm winning. Don't at me. Uh, right, next up, let's go to the next race. I think it's the uh, twin ring for this one. Let's have a look, let's see. Yep, we're at twin ring for a three lap race on the east course. Uh, this track is slightly longer than the other one. Uh, than Sakuba, but we should be able to get out of third gear. Because the last one we were sort of shifting between first, second and third. So hopefully we can get to fourth gear at some point. Fingers crossed. We've got ourselves a GTR, an R32, a Fair Lady Z. Um, we've also got a Golf GTI Mark V. Right, here we are. Twin ring. There's our Mercedes. And here we go. There's the GTR right up at the front there. Let's do this then. Are we going to get out of third? No, of course not. Come on, come on. Let's get around here. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Can I squeeze past, please? Thank you. Alright, there's an R32 up in front there. Awesome. Um, 
we go, round we go. Nice. I thought International was supposed to have much faster races. This doesn't feel very fast now. Though, to be fair, we're going to be starting off with um, proper racing cars soon. I think International A is when it's like race cars. I want to get into a touring car, though. Maybe a Renault Megane. The Renault Megane touring car looks sick. Oi! Fuck off. trying to hit my car. 1 minute 42.4 though for that lap. Very good. Very good, very nice. I don't think we have actually gone out of um, third yet. And the final track is going to be um, Trial Mountain, I think. Was it Trial Mountain? No, it was the other one. Not Deep Forest. Something else. Yeah, it will come to me. Hey, fourth gear. Just didn't even notice it until then. At least we managed to shift out of third. Nice. Right, there's one more car, and that is the GTR 35. Come on, come on. Awesome. We can get out of third gear on that straight. Right, this is our final chance to actually catch up with the GTR and overtake it. We have an entire lap though, so no need to panic. I don't want to crash into it. It's a nice car. There we go. Just speed right past it and you don't have to worry about crashing into it. Very nice. Perfect. I'm looking forward to, um, with Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo 7 having like the radar and stuff like that because the radar is actually very useful. Um, I found when I was doing like more difficult races in GT5, I actually zoomed my map in to turn it into like a radar. Um, it obviously wasn't a radar. Oh! Holy shit! He's close. Woo! That was close. 0 0.162 seconds. That was very close. Wow. Take our 19,000, please. Thank you very much. And then we are going to move on to the final race. I actually want to know what the track's called. I can't remember what it's called. It's not Trial Mountain. It is Trial Mountain. Shit. I got that confused with a different track then. Looks like we're on Trial Mountain then. I do like Trial Mountain. It's very good. 
Right, 20,000 credits for this race if we come first. Polyphony, Digital Cup, Race 3, Trial Mountain. I wonder what the four colours mean for Trial Mountain. But, we've got ourselves the DB9 back again, an M3. We've got a Lancer Evo 6, a Prince of Sedan, very nice car, uh, and an S3. I cannot remember what an S3 is, but it will probably come to me. And we've also got an RX-7 as well. Here we go. Trial Mountain. We've got a 9.9 .9 mile race to do. Uh, oh, it's an Audi S3. Ah, that makes more sense now. That's one thing we need. We need either the car logo or the actual car brand beforehand. Otherwise, it's just impossible to tell what car it is. Oh, come on, come on. Squeezing through there. Nice. I'm actually surprised the last race wasn't four laps because this track is longer than the last one. And we're only doing four laps of this. There's the monkey in the tree. That thing is a classic. Right, hopefully this is where we're going to get some extra speed. And now we can really get into the fourth gear now. Well, the Lancer was in the way, so that's not my problem. Stay out of my way, and I won't crash into you. We go. We got BMW M3 in front of us. I think it's an M3. If it's not, I don't care. I'm calling it an M3 now. Because it is an M3. Right, let's go. Speed up. Speed up. We got the M3 is right behind us. Not very far away, actually. Alright, catching up with the DB9. Holy crap! How the f- <laughs> That car just rolled. Trial Mountain killed my car. It's a good video title, actually. That is a very good video title. Trial Mountain killed my car. Come on, come on. It is speeding past an Aston Martin time. I don't like the textures that when it does that. Because it looks like the rear bump is completely damaged on that Lexus. And then you get closer and it looks... I feel like that just doesn't look good. But, obviously we're on PS3 hardware. If we were on um, PS5, I have a feeling the render distance is going to be so much better that it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, oh! That's not great. Oof. We definitely can't drive today around Trial Mountain. Um, yeah, Trial Mountain is a tricky track. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to playing GT7, giving that a try, seeing how well it plays, because I know it's going to be the smoothest experience ever. It's going to be like butter. It's going to be like butter.
But like the melted butter kind. It's going to be really sloppy. Very good, very good. Well done. Good corners through there. Slow down, slow down. Keep it steady. I do not want to roll my car, flip my car, or crash my car again, or spin it out. I don't want any of that now. Getting too close to the final section that I really don't want to start stressing out trying to overtake people. Let's just slow down big time. Oh! <laughs> that was not fun at all. I'm still surprised how that actually managed to flip my car earlier. Here we go. Hopefully we can stay away from Trial Mountain for the next few episodes. As much of a good track it is, not too keen on it when it gets to faster cars. Slower cars are very good. Fast cars, nah. Perfect. And over the jump. It's not really much of a jump. Perfect. The last of the cars are right behind us. So we cannot crash at this last corner now. They are close enough that they can smell failure and will pounce on any opportunity they can. Oh! Woo! I hate that corner. I'm so glad it's getting fixed. Well, from what the gameplay we've seen. Looks like it's getting fixed. And I hope it is because I don't want to do that again. Wow. Oh, I hate that corner so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.